So here we go. What I'd like to do is show you how to solve for the sine of 2x equals the negative square root of 3 divided by 2. We want to find all the solutions. So to first do this, what we want to do is find at least the solutions that are going to be on the interval of 0 and 2 pi. So again, I'll create my unit circle here. All right, so now what I want to do is determine, you know, when are my values of my sine of an angle equal to negative square root of 3 over 2. Now remember that when looking at the unit circle, my si the sine of an angle is, e is equal to the y coordinate of a, that coordinate point of your angle on the unit circle. So I need to look over here and now determine that there's two angles that when my sine is equal to a negative square root of 3 over 2. Well, we can look at this and say it's going to be here and roughly here. All right, now that's not the best. Uh, that you can look at this, but what I did is these are on my thirds. If I said one third, two thirds, three thirds, then this would be four thirds, five thirds, and then six thirds. So we're going to have, we could say x equals the angle, this first angle we're going to call is four pi over three, and then the next angle is going to be five pi over three. So we could say x equals five pi over three, and x equals 4 pi over 3. So those are the two angles when, this, when I take the sine of an angle and it's equal to a negative square root of 3 divided by 2. However, we're not trying to find the angle of just x. It's actually 2x. All right, so then the next thing that we need to look at this is these are my two angles that are on the interval of 0 and 2 pi. But notice, we want to find all the solutions. So we're going to keep on adding and subtracting our coterminal angles because we can keep on going around and around and keep on getting the solutions of sine being negative square root of 3 divided by 2, as long as we don't limit it between 0 and 2 pi. So to find my next angle, I can add 2 pi. And I can keep on doing this infinite many times. And so therefore, I'm going to leave it as a variable n. Then I can also do the same thing with 2 pi n as well over here. So now, to finally solve for x, what I'll do is I'll divide by 2 on both sides. And therefore, my final solutions are going to be x equals 5 pi over 6 plus pi n, and x equals uh, 4 pi divided by 6, which we can reduce to 2 pi over 3 plus pi n. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you find all the solutions for a multiple angle. Thanks.